guys, now we're getting into the third part of um, Tom Sawyer by Rush. And that's going to look like this. So we just finished the, the second verse. And we stopped on that E chord. Okay? The next part we're going to do, we're going to have the E chord again. Play that once, then we're going to go up to the F sharp power chord. So we already did that one. G, A power chord, back to E, to C power chord now, which is just under there, to B, A, B, hold that for a little bit, and then start to get. Slowly, one more time. After you play it twice, you're going to go two hard strums on that E chord, and then you're going to play a B chord. Okay, so that B chord is two and four on the D, D string, so A string two and uh, D string four. Okay, so right, two hard strums on that E power chord, and then just one hard one on that B power chord. Okay, so part three, play that again. Sorry, let's try it again. Okay, and that's it for part three. Okay, so now we're going to do part four, which is, um, I think it's the chorus, and that's going to go something like this. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We're going to do an A chord. the third fret of that um, low E string. So still play that the rest of that A power chord. So really what you're doing is you're gonna play the you end up just end up playing the G and uh, the second fret of the uh, D string, which is an E. So again you're on that third fret right there, that's where that finger's going, so. B power chord. Okay, that's just second fret, fourth fret, second fret A string, fourth fret D string. That's the second part, so first part. The next part of the chorus goes about the same. And instead of doing a B, we're going to do an E this time. Okay? So again, E is open string, second fret of that um, A string. Okay? So here we go. Right? 
bass hard strum next part okay and that is the chorus okay so the next part is going to be um, there's a little bit of space in between um, the rest of the song after we do that. But the next part of the song um, where the guitar plays is it something goes something like this. Okay, so we're going to do that a few times. And uh, how that's going to work is we're going to have we're gonna try and if you can if you can bar those two, the, just the two strings here just the, on the second fret the A and the D. I'd advise you do that. If you can't, you're gonna have to use your fingers. Okay, and again, you want to play the second fret, and you can use your index and your middle finger. Second fret of the A and D string. Okay. So it's basically just a big E power chord right there. And how that's gonna work? We're just gonna pick each individually with this easy little arpeggio. Again, you're going to play E string, A string, D string, okay? Okay, and then you're going to go, we're going to do an F sharp now. Before you do that, you're going to play open E string, then you're going to go 2nd fret E string, and then you're going to, con you're going to continue that pattern. So the trickiest part here is again the F sharp, we're going to go open, 2nd fret, 4th fret of the A string, and 4th fret of the D string, okay? And then you're going to go back to the E. Okay, and then the next part after that is one of the more cooler parts of the song, and that's this little, the little um, riff right here. Very simply, I'm, I'm using my two fingers. You might have to, you know, use some other fingers here to get you know, to get the stretch um, to that next string. But how this is going to work is we're going to go fifth, uh, sorry, seventh fret on the D string to the ninth fret on the A string. Then we're going to go down to the sixth fret on the D string to the seventh fret on the A string. 4th fret D string, 5th fret A string, so the first part, you're going to play that once, and then the next time you play it, same thing starting off, okay, so again, 5, uh, 7 on the D, 9 on the E, or 9 on the A, and then you're going to go 6th uh, fret on the D string to 7th fret on the A string, then you're going to go to 5th fret on the A string to 7th fret on the E string. Okay, and that will carry over usually into the guitar solo. However, after the guitar solo, that part carries on, and when you're done that little riff, go back to the fifth fret of that E string, seventh fret E string, fifth fret A string, and to seventh fret A string. And that carries you back over to the last part of the song, which are pretty much the same as the beginning. to review the last part of the song. And that's everything except for the solo uh, for guitar parts in How to Play uh, Tom Sawyer by Rush. Thanks for watching.